are Australia's greenhouse gas emissions going up or down, you'd be forgiven for feeling confused. Under the Paris Climate Agreement, Australia pledged to reduce emissions to between 26 and 28 per cent lower than they were in 2005 by 2030. And what we are doing is meeting every commitment that we've made and better. Australia's emissions in 2005 were higher than they were at any point in the previous decade. After 2005, emissions fell every year until 2013, but have since been climbing. They're now at a seven-year high. And those figures only include emissions within Australia. Under international protocols, countries aren't accountable for emissions embodied in their fossil fuel exports. Australia is the world's largest exporter of coal and liquefied natural gas. You are a country that can afford to do more, and you are a country that has the potential to be developing some of the technologies the whole world is going to need. Uh, and wouldn't it be better to be exporting some of those technologies uh, rather than to be the supplier of coal and gas to the world? As Baroness Brown of Cambridge and Chair of the Carbon Trust, Professor Julia King has played a key role in influencing climate policy in the United Kingdom. During the third quarter of 2019, renewables outpaced fossil fuels in generating the UK's power for the first time ever. The country has vowed to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Professor King says the rise of the offshore wind industry has brought back jobs to some of the UK's most deprived communities. These are the positives. You don't have to have a black or a brown economy. You can have a green economy. She believes hydrogen could do the same for Australia. Just like natural gas, hydrogen can be used for cooking and heating, while hydrogen fuel cells can power electric trucks and cars. There are now commercially viable options to produce hydrogen without fossil fuels. Scientists argue that it will take big ideas to not just meet our 2030 emissions target, but to have a lasting impact on the world. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.